Now, you cannot come to the Philippines, and especially Cebu, without eating your own body weight in lechon. So that's exactly what we're about to do. Hey guys, Andy Cooks here, and I am in Cebu, the Philippines, with Flight Center. And we are here on a foodies trip to see how much of the local food we can get our hands on. So, come along as we check out this incredible island. All right, well, every day starts with coffee for me, so it's super hot here. Let's grab an iced coffee. All right, we are at Don Macchiato's. There's a few of these around Cebu, um, but they're known for their like really affordable, delicious coffee. I've got the iced macchiato, and Babe's got uh, iced matcha. Ah, oh, delicious. That's really nice. Really good, huh? Mm. It's like 39 pesos, which is like a dollar in Australia. So, really delicious cold coffee to start the day. Refreshing. Mm. But it's hot here, so how about we head to the beach? Great idea. <laughs> Alright, so we are on Macton Island, which is like an hour away from the city. It's famous for its beaches and resorts. So if you want to come and hang out here for a day like we're going to, or stay for a few days, it's a perfect spot for that. I'm going to eat a coconut and chill out for a bit. It's bloody hot. Alright, well, even though I'm a big fan of street food and eating on the street, Sometimes you just gotta get a coconut and go for a swim in some warm water. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Ooh. <laughs> Refreshing. that super refreshing dip in the ocean and nice coconut. We are back in the car and heading up to a place called the Top of Cebu where there's a restaurant up there. So let's go check it out. All right, so we ordered some pretty cool stuff here. We've got this here, which they called adobo floss. We've got a grilled chicken with some more vinegar sauce. Uh, we've got some garlic fried rice, some really nice looking um, beef and pork spring rolls. And then here we've got uh, beef sepakau, I think, which is a, a Filipino dish, but um, I've never had it before. So let's get stuck in and see how it is. I'm going in for the spring roll. Oh, All right, so it's lunchtime and we've come to a place called Cafe Laguna, which is I guess it's kind of like uh, Filipino home cooking, but done on a slightly more elevated level. You know, we're in a, we're in a restaurant. Um, the waiters and waitresses are dressed really smartly, but from what we understand, it's uh, the food's pretty pretty authentic. Um, this place started like in the 90s, I think. Yeah, by Lita Urbina. So she's been a cook since the 70s. Started this place, and we're actually greeted by her granddaughter today. So it still runs in the family, which is really cool. All right, so we've got what we think are the, the house classics. Looks pretty good. I'll show you what we've got. So we've got the lechon kawali with what looks like a tamarind little dipping sauce. We have some barbecue chicken, which is like wrapped in pandan leaves and uh, like a little chili sauce on the, on the side. We have chicken adobo. And this here is chicharron, which they had served with a little coconut vinegar. So we've got a green mango salad, some nice shrimp paste on the top. And then the star of the show, the kare kare. So, very famous Filipino stew made with uh, peanuts and beef. Babe, what are you trying first? I'm going to go the lechon. The lechon, all right. Yeah, that's really good. Get amongst it. So, this is halo halo. It's a very Filipino dessert. It's basically shaved ice, uh, condensed milk. There's some kind of bean in here. There's some jackfruit, some banana. And then this ice cream is called ube ice cream, which is like a um, like a sweet potato almost, I think. But mm, super delicious. All right, we're gonna eat this and then go chill out at the hotel for a couple of hours, and then we're gonna head to some night markets tonight and get some some more street food, which I'm pretty excited about. So we are here at the carbon market in Cebu City. It's pretty well known and famous for their like food stalls and all the other market stuff. It's uh, just getting going but let's get stuck in and go and uh, see what food we can find. All right this place is crazy. There's so many vendors, there's people everywhere. It's awesome. We got here some really nice scallops. Yeah, I think they're pretty famous for their scallops in the island of Cebu. They're nice and small and super sweet and they cover them in cheese and garlic and butter. And then we got some grilled chicken here and with the classic kind of vinegar soya uh, dressing that they always put on stuff here. And similar there, this is pork belly, uh, also marinated and I'm pretty sure just in soya sauce. All right, let's hit one of these scallops. 
Mm, yum. A little bit of chili, just a tiny bit. Some cheese, lots of garlic, and lots of butter. Absolutely delicious. And this whole plate of scallops was 100 pesos, which is like, I don't know, like $3 or something. Just crazy. Let's try some pork belly. I've eaten a lot of pork since I've been in the Philippines, so a bit of a pork connoisseur now. <laughs> really good. Just well executed grilled pork belly. And then the chicken. Oh, it's almost like the tandoor color. Nice and fragrant, not spicy at all, and really nice and charred, charred and grilled. If you're in Cebu, make sure you get lechon. So the lechon's obviously roasted over fire. There's a bit of a skill in getting it to all roast pretty evenly. This is pretty good lechon. So the food here in Cebu has been absolutely delicious, but it's time to get something cold and get out of here. All right, as you can see, this place is crazy busy. There's lots of people, friends and family hanging out, having meals, and for good reason, it's absolutely delicious here. So next time you're in Cebu, don't forget to stop here in Cebu City because there's some amazing food and culture here. But that's it for our time here. We'll see you next time in another city around Asia. Peace.